class, now that we've done our daily attendance we will go over your math homework from last night. Man, school is always boring. I wonder what I should do to reduce that boredom. I know what to do. I'll go on my phone when the teacher isn't looking. Ha 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 ha. Now, let Ash in. Do you have the answer to number one? Oh, I almost forgot. No phones in class. Brian, put your phone away. Thank you. Now where was I? Oh, that's right. Let Ash in. Do you have the answer to the first problem on our worksheet? Yes. I got negative three is my answer. Brian what did I tell you about the phone? It must be away. Pull it out again and you're going to the principal's office with your phone taken away you hear me? Yes. Good. Don't think about touching it or else it's mine. Now, Caden, have you gotten the answer to the second question on our worksheet? Yes, and I got 56 as my final answer. Wait Mrs. Crispina, I was just setting my phone to silent. Go back to where you were. Oh no 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 not my phone that was $800 why would you have to do that? Because you kept disobeying me when told to get off your damn phone. And because of this Brian, you are going to principal's office now and I mean now. <laughs> Brian I cannot tolerate you on school grounds any longer. I cannot stand you resisting your teachers in all of your ways shapes and forms. Also I am glad your phone is damaged. Since you decided to resist Mrs. Christina's instruction, because of this now, you're suspended for 58 days, 29 for disobedience, and another 29 for a referral for class disruption. I'm sorry Vice Principal, I died. You what? Go home, right now. Brian, yet again, you get into trouble at school, for not putting down your damn phone. That's it. You are so grounded until your suspension is over now go to bed naughty boy. Glad to be back early from my suspension, but I am still pissed off with Mrs. Crispina. She destroyed my phone, it costed my parents a lot of money, I was just bored. I think it is time I try and play fair with her. When the time is right, I'm gonna destroy her phone back. I bet she'll get triggered as hell about it. Okay class. Today is the day of the first geometry exam, and there will be no water or bathroom breaks or there will be trouble. I hope you all did study well. The tests are underneath your desks, but don't take them out yet. I have to go to the bathroom myself, please take the time to study until I get back. Brian, didn't you hear her? You can't go to the bathroom. I am not that deck to realize that Kden. This is just something personal. Get out of that desk, Brian. Students are not allowed to go back there. You put your phone away right now. Shut up, Kaden. It's called playing fair. Yeah, because stealing your teacher's phone is fair after you disobeyed her rules. Oh, I am not gonna steal it. What is going on here? Brian was trying to steal your phone from the desk. Brian dot read. We don't steal phones from teachers. Give it back, or you will get a zero on your test along with detention. You want your phone back. Come and get it. Get back here now. You said no phones in class, so I believe it was fair to hold you under the same standard. And now we are even, again. Even. How does destroying my phone make us even? Is this all because I destroyed your phone? Shouldn't that be obvious to you? That's it Brian, you are coming with me, we're going to Principal Rainbow Dash's office. No 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 no. Brian, you have some nerve, thinking it is okay to destroy your teacher's personal property. The vice principal and I saw what happened through the security cameras. It was a $200 Android phone, do you even have the money for that? Never did, never will, why should I pay you after you destroy it mine? Go fun yourself. This is about you Brian, not the teacher. You took her phone out from her purse and smashed it in the halls, and now, your parents are going to have to pay her fine. You heard Vice Principal Grace, I'll be emailing your parents about the damages you have done, and you are only suspended for a week, but you'll be having detention at home. Oh no, you. no, not with the home detentions again. Go home right now. 
and Mrs. Christina, before you leave, I just want to warn you, don't ever try to abuse another of your students in that way, or you will be fired. Vice Principal Kendra seemed to be okay with what I did to Brian's phone. And that is her opinion on the matter. But do you mind? Abusing students is the one thing I won't allow in here. Um, alright, I understand. Good, I am glad we're clear on this. Brian, I cannot even believe you destroyed your teacher's phone and got suspended with another home detention, all because Mrs. Christina destroyed yours. It was justified. You don't get it Brian, we were thinking of getting you a new phone at the store, but it's impossible now since your egotistical ass decided to break another's phone. That's it, no going out with Kayla and Alfred this weekend, and we will be cancelling your phone plan to make up for Mrs. Christina's personal fine. Meanwhile, you're grounded for 50,000 weeks, go to bed now.